There was some big breaking news coming out of Spain earlier on this morning and talk sports football reporter Alex Crook, who was on hand to tell us what happened. Villarreal briefing the media in Spain. Unai Emery is opting to stay at Villarreal. He held talks with the board after last night's Champions League win against Young Boys and he has decided, we're being told, to reject Newcastle's advances. Unhappy, the timing of their interest came out the day of a Champions League game. And also, we're being told, not convinced of the direction the club want to go in. The fact that he and Eddie Howe were down to a shortlist of two to replace Steve Bruce. His camp believe that shows that the fact they have very different playing styles shows that Newcastle not completely certain. I do have it on very good authority. Eddie Howe was indeed told that he was in the last two with Unai Emery. Do Newcastle now go back to him with cap somewhat in hand? I think it will be fascinating to see where they go from here. But lots of twists and turns to come. But as we understand it this morning, Unai Emery won't be the new Newcastle United manager. Alex Crook updating us this morning. The four-time Europa League winner has chosen to stay with the Spanish club. Where does that leave Newcastle now, Gabby? I just feel like the Newcastle job at the moment is a job that managers will want, but not yet. They want someone else to go in there, you know. Yeah. Someone else go in there, keep yeah. them up, and then um, we'll come in next season. You know, when um, you, you can spend more of the money in the transfer window in the summer. At the moment, it's like, do I really want to take that job? I mean, mm. you look at the table now, Ali Laura, like yeah. four points, um, six points to get out of the relegation zone, and I look at the teams down there, Ali, and I just can't see them getting out of it. I feel well, like Leeds will get results. <laughs> I feel like Burnley are looking like that they, they, they can get results. And you start looking up the table and you're like, who else can you see going down? That's why I think managers are probably thinking, hmm, maybe not, maybe not quite yet. I get that, I get it totally, Gab. And I've always, and I've always, and I probably still think that when you've got players like St. Maximin and, 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 and Wilson and people like that, I think they will get enough because I, 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 I've always said, Gab, that, you know, that generally speaking, if you're in a relegation battle, if you've got guys in your team that can score you a goal, you've got a better chance of getting out. It's kind of an obvious thing to say, but if you've got a guy to score your goal, and, and then you, you you will get out. And I, f- I still think that will be the case. There seems a bug to have as well. Well, I know, mate. But I know. they've got players that can <clears> score. Well, Leeds, when their injuries are back, can score. Watford yep. have shown they can score. So I, don't, I just I feel like midfield and defence. Oh, I don't know, Ali, man. I, mean, I feel Would like they need an English manager in there who can just get the best out of all the players that they've Eddie? got. Yeah, I'll get him in. What are they waiting for? Mm. I wonder what sort of contract it will be. I wonder whether that's what's what, what is a big part of this. Because, Nine months. Uh, well, exactly, yeah. <laughs> I, I, as a Newcastle, as the owners, are you saying that you want to bring someone in now that's not only going to save you from relegation, but also going to be someone that you've invested in for the future that's going to take you way up the table, new players, new yeah. signings, all that sort of stuff? Or is it a short contract where you're like, right, I, do, I need a firefighter in here to keep us up? Well, it's interesting. You look at sort of a club like Manchester City when that takeover happened, you know, I don't know their trainer thought, but I'd be intrigued to know what their trainer thought was when they went and get the first manager, because clearly, you know, Pep was the one that's, mm. when I say taking them to the next step, it, the, the, the Holy Grail is still the Champions League, and that's the one they want, but definitely they're now one of the top clubs in Europe. Um, and I just think, I, I, looking at Newcastle, I don't necessarily think that their next manager will be the one that will take them to the next steps of, of perhaps qualification for mm. Europe and Champions League and things like that. So it's an interesting one, uh, interesting development. Next next fixture for them is Brighton away at the Amex. Um, then oh, they play wow. Brentford at home. Then they've got Arsenal at the Emirates. And then they've got Norwich at home. Yeah. Um, and you and you would hope that they would look at that game. I mean, you'd hope they look at all of them and think they can get something out of it. But Certainly you... Brentford and, and, and Norwich. Certainly Brentford and Norwich. It's amazing. Yeah, they can beat Brentford. Yeah, I do. do I do. Yeah, I do. And I, I, I enjoy Brentford. I think they're a great start. And even in their game at Burnley, by the way, what a finish that was. Um, there's some great goals yeah. in that game. But I just think that's the, they're the kind of games they'll target. Listen, they'll, tar- they'll target every game, clearly. But it's funny, Gabby, I was going to say to you, Funnily enough, one of, the, one of the teams you probably don't want to play down the bottom of that league at this moment in time, if you're chasing points, is Brighton. Oh, wow. Bri- you know what I mean? Right, that's the last place I, I want to go and play, Brighton away. That's the last team I want to play against. Well, that game, uh, Brighton away for Newcastle, is live and exclusive on TalkSport this Saturday on game day, so you can tune into that. TalkSport Breakfast with Laura Woods. Monday to Wednesday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.